Welcome back to Wit Acres. Today we're going to be planting strawberries. I picked up this 10 pack of All Star strawberries from Tractor Supply and I want to get those established in this bed here. I'm going to be moving the wooden frame out to that fence line there for getting the backhoe access into here but I'll still have nice fertile mushroom compost ground right here and I want to take advantage of it. So I'm going to be planting strawberries here and they'll be able to get established and perennialize and I'll still be able to intermix any vegetables, some seasonal vegetables all through the bed and the strawberries without any disruption to the strawberries. I'm gonna get these out of the bag now and make sure I actually have 10 in here. We got them rubber banded together. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. So I did get ten of them. Two, four, six, eight, ten. This one is uh, pretty tiny. Not sure I'll get anything off of it, but I'm still gonna plant it. With strawberries, you don't need to plant very deep, so I just have some gloves that I'm going to be raking the ground away and putting the strawberry in. You wanna put it just in with the roots. You want to put the soil level right about here so the crown of the plant stays above the soil level. You don't want to bury these, then they'll just sit in the ground and rot. They need access to the air and the sun. What are you doing, buddy? You just waiting. them in they're hard to see but I put all ten in just kind of side by side all the way down through the row there 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 and I'm not too confident about these plants because they do come from tractor supply and I've had them fail before I've planted a lot of these strawberries and they haven't come up the strawberry bed that I do have established right now came from uh, actually started potted plant from Walmart that I, I grew those on my patio wall and what I did was put these beside the pot like so and I had the pot here and I've put all the runners into the trough so they could keep growing and they did. And I filled up the both trays with some sister runners and got more crowns of strawberries so now I can fill this whole bed up with strawberry plants this year without it buying any more. I trailed it into another pot and created more crowns throughout the season and then I saved all those through the winter and replanted those into a raised bed in the food forest to create a strawberry bed. And it did work and they're coming back this year but I want to get some more. Plus I planted that bed kind of underneath the maple tree and it gets a little bit more shade. This spot here in the vegetable garden is wide open to the sky and should get plenty of sun. They have a bunch of good things to say about the all-star strawberry. High yields, vigorous, hardy. 
The hardiness is two to nine and the spacing is 22 to 24 inches. They'll get about a foot tall it looks like and they want full sun obviously. They might take four to six weeks to break dormancy they're showing so uh, I'm just gonna get them in now and they should have plenty of time during this wet spring season to start showing some signs of life. I believe the strawberries in the food forest are the ever bearing variety so it would be nice to try the two different kinds this year. Still working on the garden fence it's just not what I want it to be yet so we're still working on that video and I'll get that out whenever it's finished but I need to pick up some more fence posts and some other materials to get that one done. Looks like someone bought the farm across the way and they're doing some cleaning up over there. Working on getting the pond pumped out. Hopefully I'll be able to make some good progress on it this weekend. This Sunday's supposed to be really nice so I'm hoping I can make a lot of good progress on the pond. Hoping to get my dad's help this weekend. We're supposed to have a really nice day on Sunday and I'm hoping to get a big chunk of this pond knocked out. Look at the baby chickies. We just got these chickies in yesterday and they are doing great. They are so tiny compared to my eggers. These are the chickers. These are the meat chickens. These are jumbo white Cornish cross. So they're gonna get big fast. They've been crushing that little bull I have in there of feed. Watch out, watch out little ones. Watch out little ones. They stomp it all down so I gotta come in here and fluff it back up for them. And they go wild for it. They just love eating. They're doing real good in here. Got some logs and rocks for them to walk around and check out. Got them a double water set up with the pebbles in there. Got them on camera so I can watch them and keep an eye on their temperature. And a little bowl of sand so they can get some grit if they want it. So they got a nice little setup here. Got the heat lamp going. They're inside the patio, inside the screened in patio. So uh, they're pretty well protected in here. Go, hop up. Puppy gets to check on his chickies, huh? Yeah, puppy's a good boy with his chicks. He likes his eggers a lot more than these meat chickens right now, but I think that's because he gets to go in with the eggers and uh, walk around with them and sniff them. These ones he's not allowed to touch. They're just too fragile. If you want to see the progress on the pond go over and check out our Wit Acres Aquatics channel and you'll be able to see everything aquatic that goes on here at the property. If you want to see the chicks grow up and any of the other animals that I have up at the homestead that I'm filling up the barn with this year, go over to our Wit Acres Homestead channel and subscribe to that one as well. And you'll be able to get all the content coming out from Wit Acres. Also taking down this old fence now. We're going to be putting up a new one here shortly, so I want to get this old one taken down. I want to save all the wood and the posts that are good. So we'll be seeing this wood again. I don't really throw much away here. I got six good ones so far and at least one broken one there's a couple more laying in there but I got some more to take out and as you saw those posts I have to just wiggle back and forth and then pull them out and they get suctioned in there pretty good whenever that water is in the bottom of the hole I got all the fencing planks all stacked up here I think I have 30 or so, so I'll be able to do a good chunk of the fencing up around the barn for the animal enclosure. I'm going to do a two plank system, so that should get me pretty far. I'll probably have to cut these all down to six feet instead of the eight feet that they were because all the ends are bad, but there's still a lot of good wood there. All right, I do want to see how many posts I'll be able to keep because that's a big part of the fence. All right, I'm done for this evening, but I did get 12 pretty good posts I think I'll be able to use again. Got the pond basin pumped down pretty well, so Saturday or Sunday I'll be able to come in here and move some, move some rock, move the liner, and start doing some work on these edges here. I'd like to get this whole basin here edged out and lined with stone, get the liner back up and tight in place, and then 
that will be a good spot that I'd be comfortable stopping with before we get a lot of the rain and crappy weather that's supposed to be coming here next week. Hopefully we can get it to that point because we have a lot of crappy weather coming next week that I don't want to have to be pumping out the pond for every day. What are you doing puppy? Here is the lettuce that I'm going to be harvesting. It was a gourmet mix and you can see it looks delicious. I'm going to get this cut and harvested. I've got my scissors and my bowl. And what I'm going to do is come in here and take it right at about an inch and a half above the soil line. So it'll be just a tiny plant left and I'll get all these nice delicious greens. I don't think the radishes are ready yet. They're still pretty tiny. So yeah, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the radishes go maybe another week. They're still pretty small. Hey buddy. Puppy's out here to help. He likes listening to the birds too. So I had one of you ask me how to succession sow any of your plants and you can see the second succession of radishes coming up right behind the first succession succession so uh yeah that's how you do it just make a new row right behind them and put them in just like you did the first row you can see i got the lettuce all cut back now it is all the way down and short and i have a full bowl of delicious greens you can also eat your radish greens if you want, but I find them bitter and texturally unappealing. Okay, puppy, you ready? He's just chilling on the big stone. You're a good puppy. So I'm plugging away at these different drops to get things ready because I feel like I'm behind. I need to get a chicken coop built and get the acres up into their chicken coop. I need to get the fences built up there around the barn and get the gutters on the barn so I can harvest some water. And I'm still trying to grow everything in the greenhouse for the vegetable garden and the landscape flowers. So I really would like to get that pond done. That would be one big thing out of the way. But until then, you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching.